good. How are you? Good. <laughs> Online theorists think he says, get in the car, or did you park yet, or something like that. Listen again. I'm good. How are you? Good. I opened with this last known video of Riley Strain for two reasons. One, it feels kind of appropriate to see him alive now that we know what's happened. The second is that it points to an alternative theory that I think we can now safely call a conspiracy theory. It's not one that's likely to go away, however, and that's really unfortunate. But first, the truth about what happened. Riley Strain's body was found on Friday, March 22nd, two weeks after he disappeared in downtown Nashville after having drinks at Luke's 32 Bridge. We previously traced his route from his last drink at Luke Bryan's bar in Nashville to the corner of First and Gay here. And we knew this because of a traffic camera video that shows him crossing the street. We later found out that he took Gay Street north, where he encountered a police officer and then walked toward two bridges at Woodland and at James Robertson Parkway. That was the last known video. And there are a couple of sounds within that video that drove the conspiracy. Ultimately, Riley's body was found in the Cumberland River here. That's about eight miles away by river. You can see that the Cumberland flows north and west. Police say they identified him by way of his shirt, that black and white button up that we've seen so much of, and his Apple watch, which was still with the body. They also say there's nothing to indicate foul play, although an autopsy will still be performed. What's key is that the evidence points to Riley simply falling in the river and floating upstream. I think that was always the most reasonable theory all along. Occam's razor sort of comes into play here. But some felt that something more nefarious was possible. Before we get to that, I ask you to take a moment and think about Riley's family, especially his parents, who just have to be devastated today. He's my best friend. He's everything. That was his mother. And honestly, her breathless tears are just as difficult to watch today as they were earlier in the week. If you have kids, you probably get it. The black car theory ends here, but it really begins here. Note the black car that pulls up to the stop sign and the sideways V-shaped taillight. Now, a popular TikToker named Flo Daddy Flo says that the black car showed up in this video as well. I'm going to rewind. You'll see it at the start. All right, I'm just going to take a screenshot and freeze. That's what he means but it's a different black car. For one, it looks like it has a spoiler, but the tail lights are also different. There's not that V-shape we saw in the other picture. Beyond that, this angle and this angle are continuous. One camera stops and the other one picks them up. A black car is on camera twice, about 40 seconds apart, so the driver would have really had to whip around the block to come up on Riley Strain two times. Objectively, when there's that big of a hole in someone's case or theory or testimony, the whole case kind of crumbles apart. And we get that again when we start to watch the body cam footage, which also has a black car that's of interest. You can see again here, there's different taillights from the other two, the one that approaches Riley through the intersection the first time and the one seen in the very first video. There's a lot of black cars in the road to explain this, but where this theory holds a small amount of weight is with this other gray car. Watching this body cam footage once again, I do see and hear things that I didn't hear before. For example, Riley is pretty clearly running as he approaches the police officer. At the 16 second mark, Riley is about dead even with the truck. We're going to come back to that, so remember it. Now the officer walks south as Riley walks north. He's looking around. All right, here we are about 20 seconds later or so. About 27 seconds later, he spins around and we don't see Riley. It was over here on Gay Street uh, near First Avenue. If Riley was walking about two to three miles per hour, some online calculations tell me that he would have gone about 100 feet in 27 seconds. Add to that the 50 or so feet that the cop walked the other direction and you get about 150 feet or 50 yards between them by the end of the video. The key part is when that officer spins, Riley's no longer on the camera. This is why people think that Riley may have gotten in the car or been picked up or somehow coerced into that gray vehicle. Now I'm going to show you that video again. Listen really closely about three to five seconds after Riley passes by the police officer. I think you can hear a voice. I'm good. How are you? Good. <laughs> Online theorists think he says, get in the car or did you park yet or something like that. I really have no idea what he says. Listen again. I'm 
good. How are you? Good. Three seconds later, <laughs> after we hear the police officer cough, there's a sound which some people say sounds like a car door slamming or shutting. <laughs> I heard something. <laughs> be about 19 seconds from that point before the police officer turns around once again that'd be plenty of time for riley to get in the car and the car to drive away out of view especially if it maybe made a quick left turn or something beyond the issues that i pointed to earlier there are a few more problems with this black car theory the first is that the footage is just way too blurry to see anything clearly i mean it really is what i thought was riley in that video ended up being a light pole it was also just as possible to think that he turned into the woods which is later supported by the fact that they found his bank card along that embankment and by a homeless person who said he saw him along the river by a railing. I don't know what those noises were or who even said them, but I do know that's not nearly enough to base a sound theory on. I'm going to listen to some of the pleas from family and the police who beg us to quit spreading gossip and conspiracy theories. Let's all just label this theory a phony. To go with it is to assume he ended up in the river upstream by some other means, and that's just a really complex theory with no motive. If you liked this video, I've linked to another one I think you'll enjoy here, and YouTube has selected a video it thinks you'll enjoy right here. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.